If you like fishing or like good deals or just starting out, check out this Shakespeare Ugly Set Crappie Rod. This thing is only 40 bucks. It's a really, really nice rod, especially if you like a good value. Um, it's not as good as, say, other rods that are more expensive, like, say, this St. Croix. This rod is obviously much, much lighter, much higher end rod, but it's still a very nice comparable rod to that one. Uh, this rod is very, very nice. If uh, you're a Shakespeare fan, uh, ugly stick fan, uh, crappie fishing fan, and you want a very versatile rod that'll do uh, pan fishing, light, light fishing, trout, smallmouth, check out this rod. Um, this I, I made a video before on this rod and I feel the video was a little too long and probably put people off from wanting to hear the the full story on it. So all I got to say is this rod is extremely comfortable. It's very, very light and I have it in um, five foot six light power and it's a moderate action and I'm running six pound uh, mono on here and this 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 rod also comes with uh, the stainless steel ugly stick guides. Um, it's a one piece, so there's no insert pop outs like the old ones. If you use the old ugly sticks, uh, they were very, very stiff, but yet they were very durable. So they were very famous and very popular for that reason. But these new rods, this this crappie model, I don't know what it is, but they they make them uh, some sort of way that they're they're just very very nice. I feel like they compare to higher higher end rods, um, uh, except in lightweight and maybe a little bit of sensitivity. But in my opinion, they're sensitive enough, and I feel like these rods definitely fall into the category of one of those things where it's you have to use it to understand. They're very very sensitive. The action on these rods is is very, very nice. Until you see this rod load up with a fish, man, it is it is something to, to, to really to feel. And then when you think to yourself that you, you paid 40 bucks for a rod like this instead of 80 or 200 or 300 or whatever, you know, for it just it makes you feel so satisfied in your investment and you feel like you really got a good deal. So if you like, um, like I said, good deals durable rods and something that'll kind of surprise you check these out you know for 40 bucks i feel like it's something you can throw into your uh, uh fishing gear uh collection or or whatever you can pass it on to a a kid if you don't like it or if you're not going to use it much um uh someone who's just starting out fishing that you want to take with you and you want them to have a good time but i feel like even more advanced fishermen will end up liking these rods i feel like they'll, they'll be surprised at the quality in these rods um and i feel like most fishermen obviously look for rods that aren't going to fall apart, but you also look for a rod that's going to give you uh, good sensitivity, good control. Um, and in my opinion, they're they're also l very lightweight compared to the old style of ugly sticks. Uh, but no, they're not as light as uh, these uh, St. Croix's. But man, they're they're a lot lighter. And I don't know what they put into this rod or how they make these, even compared to the new ones, the GX2s. Um, they just says ugly, ugly tech construction. So I could see why they might want to keep that a secret, but it is not behave like, uh, like, like their normal rods. It doesn't, it doesn't behave. It mean it's, it's a lot different and it's, it's just such a cool little rod. And for 40 bucks, I mean, um, if you want a good deal and you want a nice rod, check these out. They, they have this uh, foam type material handle. They have uh good, uh, seats. They have a rubber butt cap. Uh, fairly narrow they got good looks to them and they also got the white on black so it's not your usual black they got the ugly stick guides the uh, very very nice rods for 40 bucks they have very good action whether you're pan fishing uh, smallmouth fishing they will handle the biggest of the big um not you know in a lake that's what i mean not not biggest of the big like in the ocean or something like that but for for what they are and um they're very nice check them out if if you're looking for a good deal something you to try out or a, a gift for someone um and hopefully this video helps uh, someone make a decision and uh um the, yeah just really really nice this is not your regular ugly stick this is not your 
the ones that you've been used to this is very nice check them out i think it'll be worth your while and um I think it's money well invested too. And you still retain a lot of the ugly stick classic uh, tough effect. You can you can feel when this rod loads up with a nice fish. You have confidence that this rod's not going to break on you. And uh, you have a lot of sensitivity. Uh, you have a lot of feel. And you really, really feel the fish. And again, I, I don't want to sound like I'm promoting just ugly stick. Because I have different rods like I just showed. Um, but... This is a really, really nice rod, and obviously I'm not getting paid by them. I'm just a regular f fishing guy like anyone else. I'm just a regular Joe um, and just want to bring something that I feel like is a good deal and could help someone out who's just starting out, wants to save money, doesn't have a lot of money, but wants to have a, a nice rod to begin with, something that's going to feel sensitive and light. Um, this is not going to be a G. Loomis or a Llama Glass or a St. Croix or any of those, but, but it is definitely a good comparable rod for the price it is uh a lot better than your regular ugly sticks maybe not so in durability because these are built a little lighter and a little bit more sensitive but compared to the old ugly sticks the old models we used to know these are way way lighter way more sensitive and man like i said you have to have it in hand and feel it load up with a fish whether it's a crappie loading up on it a trout or a smallmouth when this rod loads up you'll understand it is it is something to see, man. And then you think 40 bucks, wow. And it gives you the ugly stick confidence that the rod's not going to fail on you. Uh, check them out if you're looking for a good deal. Awesome rods. I love mine. Um, I'll definitely most likely buy more. And I have this 5'6 model here, and I also own an 8-foot model. The 8-foot model is fantastic for trolling. Uh, check them out. There's I don't know what they're doing over there at Shakespeare, but I can see why they just call it ugly stick con construction because it's a secret recipe, man. They're, they're doing something good and they're doing something right. Check them out. 40 bucks. Shakespeare ugly stick crappie rod.